Eve Cam is the latest premium camera to support HomeKit Secure Video. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and this is the Eve Cam. Eve is a different company because unlike most others, they exclusively support HomeKit. And when you go with a HomeKit Secure Video camera, it's unlike most other smart home cameras. There's no needing an account with anything. There is no uh, relying on their cloud services. There's no third-party subscription plans. It's all based around iCloud and your Apple devices with so much process locally. We absolutely love these cameras, and this one's no different. In the box, you're in a few things, like a micro USB cable, which, ugh, why is it not USB-C? It drives us crazy. Uh, there is a wall mount, a few different screws here for a wall mount option. And then we have a few different power options. You don't need all of these. Honestly, you really just need the one for the country that you're in. In our case, the good old US. So we're gonna find a standard US power adapter and snap it onto the included power brick. It's pretty much a standard USB charger. Again, we really, really, really wish that Eve had chosen USB-C rather than micro USB. It's gonna be a sticking point with us, uh, and it has been for a while, and it's going to continue to be so. So we are very, very disappointed that it is USB-A uh, with micro USB, but we're gonna to have to get over it because the camera itself is pretty outstanding. We love the look of this camera. It is simple, it is matte black. It looks like it's metal kind of from the beginning, but it is made out of plastic, but it still feels very solid and durable in its construction. The bottom has a silicone foot, so it's going to stay in place. You can see the speaker and the cooling and everything around back, and you can see that front facing 150 degree field of view camera. It's gonna record video and uh, stream video in full 1080p resolution, which is the limit of HomeKit. There's no 2K or 4K options with HomeKit just yet. So they're really just meeting the specs of what Apple has put forward. The cable clips into the back of the camera there that you can just see, and then it's able to very much flip around. It can pretty much go all the way. There's like 180 degree rotation here, so it can go all the way flat one way or all the way flat the other way, depending on where you mount this in your home. Now, like any HomeKit device, it'll work with any home app, at least to some degree. So here we are, we're gonna connect it into the Eve app, just because this is an Eve product, so we're gonna add it into the Eve app and look at what the Eve app has to offer that the home app does not. If your onboarding experience looks a little bit different from this, that's okay, we are running the iOS 14 beta, so things look a little bit different, but this is what you can come to expect later this year when iOS 14 launches. During this onboarding process, you're gonna see suggested automations uh, that you may want to enable. You're gonna get an option there for privacy, who has access to that camera feed in your home, uh, and then it's just gonna be choosing the room and name and everything like that. Eve gives you a little bit of a tutorial here at the bottom. They call hints about the camera. You can see it here inside of our kitchen. You can see that it is idle there at the top. You can play or um, pause that live video. You can see a breakdown of all the motion that this camera has captured over time. You can see based on the time of day, how much motion was captured. You can change the uh, time of day there as well. And the last motion was captured two minutes ago. At the bottom are any rules or scenes that you've set up that work with this camera. We're going to touch on different automation things you can do with the camera in just a few moments. So you can bring this up full screen here in the Eve app. You can push to talk. It does have two-way communications here. There's a microphone and a speaker on there. You can disable the microphone on the speaker if you so choose. And if you want to access the recordings though, this is a limitation of HomeKit that is rather unfortunate. And then that, that is that third-party apps cannot handle those uh, videos. Those have to be accessed within Apple's Home app. So if you were not using Apple's Home app regularly, you will have to now to access all the recordings from your camera. So how do those recordings work? Well, with your uh, 250 gig iCloud or your 200 gig iCloud storage plan, you get 10 days of storage for one camera. And if you have the two terabyte plan, you get 10 days of storage for up to five cameras. So you can see here, we have all our footage at the bottom. We're gonna choose a clip, we're gonna share that clip. I can hit next and it's going to export where I can send it to someone, save it to the files app, save it to the photos app, uh, share it in email, whatever it is that I wanna do. You can zoom in in the app so it's very easy to see, very clear, again, 1080p resolution, 150 degree field of view. There are also IR lights here, so here you can see a night shot, just a quick screenshot we took of the app viewing it at night. So there is night mode there, uh, but make sure one of those lights don't get blocked or kind of 
blared on. There are those automations that you can enable, so you can use it as a motion sensor as well. So whenever motion is detected, you can turn on lights, and that is what Apple was suggesting here inside of my new iOS 14 home app. But you can also manually configure these. So if we go down into the new automations uh, category, we can go down to our kitchen, find the eCam. Whenever it detects motion or stops detecting motion, you can do things like enable the scene or turn off the scene. You have lots of options here, even if that camera isn't actively capturing video. So aside from that, you can control your notifications, such as allowing snapshots. So you can see a preview of the motion that was detected. Get status changes when the camera goes from regular mode to privacy mode. iOS 14 allows you to get notified when the camera goes offline, and you can tailor your activity notifications based on people, pets, or vehicles iOS 14 also has a facial recognition, so you can see who has been spotted on your camera. Recording options also include here, so you can see when you are home, what options you have with their off completely. Detect activity, which is really just the motion sensor, streaming, or streaming plus recording. Then when you're away, you can have the same option, so usually this is set up at home, you either stream or detect acti activity, and when you're away, you're going to stream plus record. As far as what you record, you can choose that as well, such as when people are detected, animals detected, cars, or any group of those. Again, another iOS 14 feature coming down the line, which is activity zones. This is pretty amazing and makes these even more powerful. So maybe I don't want to get that window or my living room in the shot of my Eve cam, because I already have a camera set up in the living room and I don't want anything outside triggering this either. I really want to focus on the kitchen so I can put this path right here and capture just motion that was captured in my kitchen. For us, this is a game changer and we are really excited for both facial recognition and activity zones to come to iOS 14. You can also toggle off the night light and the status light if you so choose. We've always loved Eve and their products and the Eve Cam is no different. It's absolutely outstanding. We love the Eve Cam, the Eve app, and HomeKit Secure Video. If you want to grab one for yourself, you can find the links down below in the description and let me know what you think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.